normally wouldn't get a chance to do this. Normally they're at the hospital going through their radiation and chemo and here thanks to these donations volunteers, it made the night possible. Yeah, makes memories. Mm -hmm. That was beautiful. Yeah, it was. It really was. Wait, I've got a fabulous twit pic to show you, oh, okay. okay? So this one is for Good Friday and it's really cool. So this is made by Contrails in the shape of a cross. Yeah. And wait, it almost looks like angel wings. On Good Woody. Friday. I know, oh. on Good Friday. So I thought that was really cool. All right, so let me show you what's going on. We do have some rain right along the coast. This is generally moving to the northwest. And this is an area we'll have to watch for our rain chances as we go into the morning hours. Here is the big picture, high pressure to the east. And remember with high pressure, you've got that clockwise flow. So we've got this onshore flow with the warm moist air moving in. We've got a little upper level low. You can see it there along the coast and that's what's causing the rain that's moving to the north. We're also looking south of there and this is another area of rain. So keep in mind We've got that big area of high pressure, and remember, clockwise flow. So that means over time, this moisture is expected to move to the north. So we can look at our forecast model, and this is just one of many that we have, and it's really showing the weather fine in the morning. During the day, that 40% chance of rain, and of course, we've got the Crescent City Classic. Look, this model not showing any rain chances until we go into the afternoon, and it's a good 40% chance looking at all of the models. So I am expecting rain, especially when you look at what's going on offshore. Then we can go into Saturday night and I'm really just seeing an isolated shower. The weather is going to be fine Saturday night. Then we're going into Sunday morning. Sunrise services right now, I think you're looking fine. Maybe a little bit of fog, that's about it, an isolated sprinkle. As you go through the day, we're seeing this moisture increase. And here we are looking at the afternoon hours, a few showers, certainly more activity to the west. But keep in mind, it could move a little bit more to the east. So be aware of that potential. Uh, rain chances, a good 40% chance. So for the Crescent City Classic, I've got us at 71 degrees right there at 8 o'clock when the race is starting. 10 o'clock, your mid-70s. By noontime, upper 70s, and that 20% chance of rain. Have not changed our Easter sunrise service. I still have temperatures forecast to be in the mid to the upper 60s. 60s highs in the low 80s. The 40% chance of rain is really for the afternoon hours, so that service should be okay. High temperature, 81 today. The average is 78, well below the record of 87. Across the area, not as warm as it was yesterday. And if you're suffering from allergies, it's the grass and the tree pollen that are causing problems now. So right now it's 70 degrees, a bit of a breeze, east-southeast at 13. Temperatures mid 60s to the low 70s, got that breeze. Now when you have a wind overnight, you tend not to get fog, and right now visibility is fine. But as we go into the morning, some patchy fog is possible with those lows low to the mid 60s. So here is a look at that forecast right at 3 o'clock upper 70s, that 40% chance of rain. Easter Sunday, a high of about 80. Same thing for your Monday, still that 40% chance of rain the next week we're going to start warming up climbing into the mid 80s